an hour. Oh, great. Okay. This is, well, this is the authentic experience. experience. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose. Yeah. But this is us in Parker's Peace. Do a little 360 of Parker's Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so what time is it? It's like quarter to nine or something. It's absolutely freezing. Um, and there's a lot of people here who have more plans than we do, actually. Uh, people seem pretty prepared uh, compared oh, to us. We are prepared. Trust we, we've got um, Trust me, we have charisma, a plan. we've got style, we've got um, I may have winning <laughs> smiles. I banged it out last night. I worked out how. You banged it out last night. Oh, that means. Right. <laughs> and cut the video. Two, one, smile. Show me how you feel. <laughs> that must be. I haven't finished asking the question yet. Yeah. Oh. Okay. How are you feeling? Wait, has it started? Yes. Oh. I'm not talking to you for no reason. It's Ben Dawson. Yeah. Oh, going to Australia. I will run. Yeah. And you can yeah. either. I'll follow you. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Not so, a good start. Obviously we can't film every single thing uh, because we will run out of battery slash memory slash funny things to say. Uh, this could get very boring otherwise. Uh, um, so, so if we can make a pound a minute, we have what 36 hours, it's 36 times 60, which is roughly, a lot of money. Roughly 2,000 pounds. So we're gonna keep on going. Uh, but this is a good strong start. Yeah, right, we'll, we'll see you later. Very, very grateful to the lovely people at Canta, um, who in, in total, I reckon they gave us about 60, 70 quid in about a minute. Um, we went into the office, I gave up an average speech, uh, explaining what we were doing, explaining where we were going to get to, where the money was going to, um, and we all just got out of their chairs and gave us literally, someone put 20 in, there were tens flying about, um, literally a lot of money, um, and I'm quite overwhelmed actually that people uh, could be so generous uh, and just take money out of the box to sell it. We've just been to the Cambridge University Press and they just offered a check of £100. Uh, right now in the train station, waiting to go to London, uh, we raised £250. Um, and we're planning to do the same in London, try going around the firms, and then we'll try the airports as well. Okay, so we've arrived in London, it's uh, about quarter past twelve, we've been going for three hours. I reckon we're at about three hundred pounds. Um, just got kicked out of a pub, which was uh, an experience. Uh, apparently hotels don't do charity, which I find um, quite annoying, to be honest. So, London didn't go all that well. People there are much better than the people in Cambridge. RBS basically kicked us out of their property. We were the a bit outside the property. We weren't allowed to stand there. Um, we got a lot of pubs in there. And everything got in back of us. We're on the way to London City here. Um, we're not doing too bad. No one's out of England yet. Yeah. And we do have a soul plan. So wish us luck. Hopefully we'll get at least to somewhere in Europe. I don't think Australia is happening. And they said, we'll get back to you. So we went and sat down, waiting for them to get back to us. And within five minutes, uh, a security guard came over and asked us to leave. Apparently, what we're doing just is against the rules. Uh, raising money for charity against the rules. Um, something slightly flawed there. 
Um, so anyway, we tried to go to Canary War to maybe ask for corporate sponsorship, and uh, we got told we didn't have permits, so we're not allowed to Canary War either. And we have a train to catch in 10 minutes. So, so now we're just desperate. We're going to Dover, we're going to beg someone to go in the lorry, get to France, go to Paris, and then Australia. Okay, so it's, um, I think it's about 5 to 10. 10 to 10, 5 to 10, 9 51. <laughs> we could probably cut this out because it's really quite awkward that I took so much time to talk about the town. Uh, I don't know what it is. Like, is it the Scotland flag? Um, are we just too attractive? I think, you know, I think, I think people feel bad when they see us. Um, and we're not allowed to go into places for fear of making other people look bad. That's my personal theory. Uh, you can take we are roughly 10 minutes away from. Dover Priory Station. Um, we've got a ferry, hopefully a quarter past 11, it's going to take us to Cali. And on that ferry, uh, we hope to find someone, we really hope to find someone who's going to drive us through Europe. To Australia. Yeah. We're going to go to Europe and then Australia. I mean, Europe's just a means to an end. Getting to Australia is the dream. Um, and once there, um, we're going to win. That's basically how it works. It's uh, 12 hours in. Got about 24 hours to go, and we're gonna win. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Uh, this is enough, this is kind of tragic. We were just giving some brilliant advice. Basically, we're at the ferry terminal and passengers aren't allowed on by themselves now, so we need to find the car. And one of the guys working here said, and I quote, Work on the assumption they're looking for a chicken. Wait, wait, do you want oh, to try it? Film, oh. film this. Film. Alright, we're just gonna keep on pressing this button so the light turns red. So that cars stop. Basically. Then we're going to show them this sign, and hopefully they will let us in. Uh, so what happens is, let's watch this, right? Um, it's still red. Why it's still red? This is a brilliant idea. Still okay. All right. Right. So it's going to have to. It's going to be phased. So like we couldn't just press it and expect it to change. But here come some people, right? Let's see if this works. Is it still going? Yeah. 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 Right. Go! Please, 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 please. Oh, no. oh man, it works so well. Please, oh, God. please, 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 So um, after walking along with my thumb up, someone did actually stop. I got very, very excited, ran over, told them that um, we're hitchhiking for a charity bed, please pick us in your car. And um, he went, I'm looking for my son. <laughs> so that was slightly awkward. Um, I got very excited, he's obviously very concerned, and we're still stuck in Dover. We just have to get So, it is approximately 5 to 7 a.m. Uh, we have 14 hours remaining. We've been walking along the street for about 10 minutes now, trying to, desperately trying to hitchhike a lift. Still going. Um, and we just stopped the car at traffic lights uh, by pressing the button and forcing him to stop and look at our sign. We, um, smiled, we showed our sign saying hitchhike for charity and after all of that he wound down his window and called us wankers with um, an appropriate hand gesture. So not a great start but still plenty of time is all to play for and we are heading to a petrol station where we are hoping to sweet talk our way into someone's car. Um, that's the plan. Might not work, but we are getting out of Dover. We are getting out of the UK. Oh God.
Right, so we've been stuck in Dover for the last 12 hours now, and um, it's not been fun, to be honest. We've been outside for ages, it's been absolutely freezing. We slept, I would say we slept rough, it was very uncomfortable. Um, and we've accumulated a huge group of jailbreakers who are all going to describe to us in one word how the last 12 hours has been for them. So without further ado, we'll work on this. <laughs> so crushing. She's <laughs> great. <laughs> Enlightening. Frustrating. Eventful. Fun. Absolutely gotcha. depressing. <laughs> That's wow. not a word. We are on the bus. No, we're not. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Going Thank you. Now I'm sad. <laughs> yeah, but finally we're making progress. I'm going on a ferry in an hour yeah. and I'm um, in Calais, now I'm in and then Paris, and then my favourite place, Australia. The birds they sing all the quiet. Start again. So finally we're now on the ferry on the way to. Calais, that's what we call it. Uh, and then we found two guys who have kindly offered us uh, to drop us at Girton. Are you kidding? Start recover. Again. No, don't start, start again. again. Start no, this is funny. Start again. Come on, recover start. from it. They're not dropping us at Girton. Because you want to get to start again. No, come on. Uh, we've now found two guys who have kindly offered to drop us at Paris. Now in Paris, we're in a station, we don't know what station it is, we're trying to get to Italy, but we don't know where the ticket office is. Left, and as you can see, we finally found the Eiffel Tower. Uh, we, we haven't had long to enjoy it just because of the logistics. We need to get back to London pretty soon. But yeah, finally, after the, the shitness that is Dover, we, we did something. Good. So, um, we made it to the Eiffel Tower. Um, it was quite stunning actually. Um, I know I've seen a lot of photos and stuff, but it's really nice. Um, it's been a bit of a roller coaster getting here. Uh, started off well in Cambridge, raised on Cambridge, faffed about in London for a good six hours, and then faffed about to, oh my god, we just took faffing to new levels in Dover. It was just, no one was helping us, we had to sleep rough, um, it was quite bad. But thankfully we got to Calais, two very nice people on the ferry gave us a lift to Paris, and we just had a little wander in Paris before we head home. So, yeah, mission accomplished. Now say the brave heart thing, go. You can take our lives, but you can't take our freedom. <laughs> Man! 